Every now and then we get these wild, eye-catching, eyebrow-raising aircraft concepts that are most likely not going to happen. After all, it takes an immense amount of capital to get an aircraft designed, tested, and certified for service. But with the US government reportedly showing interest in what would be the world's largest aircraft, we have to wonder if this jet, the Radio Windrunner, will one day become a reality. We take a look at what this aircraft is all about for today's video. As stated on the company's website, Radia is building the world's largest aircraft, which it calls the Windrunner. This concept will have a 12 times bigger volume than a 747 and the ability to land on dirt strips, Radia claims. The aircraft is designed with a specific purpose in mind, and not just any type of freight. Indeed, it is envisioned that the Windrunner fleet will enable the cheapest energy in the world by allowing the supersizing of onshore wind turbines that would otherwise not be transportable by land. The idea is for Windrunner aircraft to operate from regional hubs where blades are imported or manufactured, delivering the wind components wherever they are needed. But while the Windrunner has been primarily designed to transport massive wind turbines, the company admits that it is a multi-use technology and platform, one that can be used for defense, aerospace, and other oversized cargo applications in addition to wind energy. So, what type of specifications and performance characteristics is Radio promising? Here are the aircraft's dimensions. It will have a length of 108 meters or 356 feet, a height of 24 meters or 79 feet, and a wingspan of 80 meters or 261 feet. Radio's website says that the Windrunner can fly up to 1,080 nautical miles or 2,000 kilometers. The jet will be cruising at 41,000 feet. Its max payload weight is 160,000 pounds or 72,575 kilograms, while max payload length is 105 meters or 344 feet. The quadjet will be able to land on semi-prepared airstrips as short as 6,000 feet or 1,800 meters. Like the 747, the aircraft's nose retracts upwards, allowing for front loading of cargo. This means that the cockpit sits up above the fuselage, creating a mini hump. But while it has a hump up top like other large freighters, its envisioned size dwarfs any competition in service today, as you can see with these graphics. According to InterestingEngineering.com, Windrunner is currently being built in Colorado and is indeed being eyed by the United States military. The website reports that Radia has recently entered into a collaboration with the U.S. Department of Defense and a cooperative research and development agreement has been signed between the two parties. The aim is for Windrunner to support critical Defense Department logistics and transportation needs. Under the agreement, the Pentagon will examine if the Windrunner will be fit for the military's needs and also try to evaluate airfield suitability, ground handling procedures, and necessary infrastructure for efficient Windrunner operations. What do you think about this aircraft design and its potential to actually be created and enter service? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.